welcome back to my dark room. This is actually a new space. I had to move apartments and that meant moving the dark room. So although it may look pretty much exactly the same as before, it is a new space. And this is the first dark room session in this new setup. It's taken me a bit of time to get everything where I want it and organize and all back together, but I'm pretty excited to get into some prints. And so today I'm looking at the Crab Island shots with the Pentax 6X7. I'm gonna be pretty ambitious today. I got three prints that I, in my head that I wanna get done and I'm gonna do eight by 10 and 11 by 14 prints. So let's get started with it. We've got a lot of work to do today. I'm all ready to go. The negative is in. It is already set for my eight by 10 easel and it is focused. So first things first, let's get a test print done and see where we are. Test prints are done kind of in the place I want to be. I might need a little bit more fine tuning. Uh, the first one was two seconds and it is just too dark. It's overexposed, no question about it. On the enlarger lens, when you focus, you will open the aperture wide open, get the most light, focus, get everything set, and then normally go two stops to its sort of optical sharpness. I decided that I needed to maybe control the light a little bit more, so I went another stop and I did two seconds and I'm getting better control of what I want. I did do one at one seconds um, and it was just a waste. So I'm, I'm where I want to be, but it's clear already that I'm going to need to do some split grading because if I keep pushing the light, more exposure, I'm going to get everything incredibly black just to try to get the C. So I need to focus first on balancing my blacks and the mids for the rock formation and then figure out what to do with the C afterwards. So right now I'm going to go into an 8 by 10 and then sort of judge what I need to do next. very happy with where I'm at in the darker tones and the blacks. It is filled in quite nicely and there's still a little bit of room to add a bit more. But as I said, there is nothing down here. Can't see the sea or anything. So I know where I'm at here, feeling pretty good about that. Now I need to fill in this space. Now, that's going to need a different contrast filter and a bit of time. I might go three seconds down to a one, see if I can fill in the space as I would like it. off with this one as my base and I liked where the blocks were coming but again there was nothing down here so I thought okay let's do a split grade and it's worked before it did not work this time I'm just making all the blacks black and I'm getting no more texture or beauty inside this part of the cave although I did get the part of the sea that I wanted, but that's not the balance I was looking for. And I thought this is a moment where I, I probably need to rethink from the very beginning. I can't be focused on playing around with grading when I really should focus on what does the negative tell me and how can I move from the negative in the right direction? So I thought, okay, the negative already has massive differences in very uh, dark tones and highlights. And I don't need to be pushing contrast. I need to actually 
try to move those things closer together. So I thought, okay, one grade filter, three seconds. It's not enough, but I think I was getting somewhere because I can already see parts of the sea and eventually this could build. One grade filter at five seconds has a dramatic difference in the balance. This is getting in the area I wanted to get in and I still have room to push the blacks a little bit further and still I'm getting the seam. I did try a half grade filter at five seconds and I'm liking where this is going. So I'm in this place now where I realize that my contrast filter choice from the very beginning was not considering the negative and that was the mistake that I started off with. So I'm at a one grade, half grade filter and I'm, I'm thinking this is getting a little kind of muddy. So I might stick with the one, which is this one. And because I'm liking a little bit of the uh, contrast and texture on the Crab Island itself. So this is it, a one grade filter. Now let's try an eight by, eight by 10 once again. My first attempt for the 8x10, I did six seconds with the one grade contrast filter. And it's coming out really well. I'm very happy with the redirection uh, that I chose to get the results I'm looking for. Um, it's a little bit too dark for me up in this area here. Um, I thought maybe I'm just going a bit too far. So I went back to five seconds, like the test print, and there's just enough of a change. It's visual, you can see that difference, um, but it's not adding any distraction to the image. So I'm liking where I'm at here. And again, the subject is quite clear. The white is white, the sea is coming in the way I want it to and the focus is staying in the middle of the image. So I'm gonna stick with this. I think this is the place to be. I'm quite happy with it. I've definitely been burning through some supplies just to get this one print right, or at least close enough right now for something that I'm pretty happy with. I think it was a bit ambitious in the beginning to say, let's do three prints, eight by 10 and 11 by 14. Yeah, that's gonna be super easy. Uh, it has not been that easy at all. But if it was really that easy, I probably wouldn't be that interested in it, to be honest. I do film photography and have a dark room because it's not easy and that's the fun of it. Thinking about the negative and defaulting to the two and a half grade filter as the thing I normally do was missing a vital step inside the process. And today has been long and lots of paper and lots of, I don't know what's going on, but the process of trying to figure out what needs to change in that chain of events to get to the place you want to is why today has been a wonderful day in the dark room. I'm not gonna get three prints uh, from three different negatives. I'm not gonna get 11 by 14s um, but what I did get was something much more valuable, and that's a better understanding about where I need to begin my decision making and then how that affects the chain of events moving forward. So I do have what I want for this negative, and I do have the chemicals and the paper, so I will do an 11 by 14 print because, well, it's here. Let's try it out. Let's put it on a big piece of paper and see how it looks. I know what I 
just said. I was gonna wrap it up, take that one print and all that work and call it a day. Screw that, forget it, I'm here, I'm gonna get it done. I've put the next negative into the enlarger. I'm going back to eight by 10. And I'm just a little bit further to the mouth of the cave, but I'm still inside a dark space with the island as my subject. So I'm gonna stick with what I did for the first time. I've got my one grade filter. I'm gonna do five seconds, get a quick test print done and see if I'm in the same place I was before. As I said, I am pushing forward and I'm doing the best I can. And this is what I have for the second print I want to do today. And it did not take six or seven tries. I've figured out that the one grade contrast filter in about four, four and a half seconds is exactly where I need to be. I'm really enjoying this print. I got two of them um, just because that's always a good thing to do. And I've already done the 11 by 14s, but I've noticed that my developer is getting a little tired. It's not quite pushing uh, the same. I did one print 11 by 14 at four and a half seconds. I did another one at just over five seconds, and that one is not developing as fully as the one before. So I'm getting near the end in terms of my chemicals, but I still have one more print to do and I'm gonna get it done. I'm gonna just do 11 by 14, no test print. I'm going right at it. I'm gonna try and get the last bit of my developer the best I can and try and get this last print done. At this point, I thought I would be wrapping up the darkroom session and everything was gonna be finished and everything was great. And it is great, but it's not finished. I did the 11 by 14 of the island just by itself. And I really like that image. And I decided just for fun at the end to do a two and a half grade filter at two and a half seconds to wipe away a lot of the sea around the outside of the frame and just focus on the island. And I really like where this is going. So I am going to get a couple eight by tens. There is a bit of life left in that developer and I'm gonna use it all. So I'm gonna go two and a half grade filter and I'm gonna try and just blow the island out uh, all black and dark and then have all the highlights disappear and see what kind of image I can get. This really is the end. I have everything that I wanted to get done, done. So it's been incredibly productive and it's been incredibly insightful. Before I sign off for today, let's take a quick review of where we started and where we ended. It began with this image in the Crab Island cave. This was a great image and this is the one where I began to really have to think about What's the process that I use and is it the correct process? So I can thank this image for learning uh, everything that I needed to learn today. I did do uh, 11 by 14. Um, you might see oh, down here, uh, I don't know, my paper got exposed somewhere on the corners. Not so bad, I don't care. 11 by 14 on the Ilford gloss, really like this one, uh, great large size image. Up next would be the slightly closer to the entrance of the cave. And this is what I got following what I learned from the first image, everything began to fall into place. And I'm really happy with how these ones came out. Also did 11 by 14, 
bit more burn on this one, but I don't care. That's okay. I like the image. Uh, this was a great experience and it is a great photograph, at least in my opinion. And lastly, we had the Crab Island all by itself, starting off on the 11 by 14. I think 11 by 14 really fits this image quite well. Um, really great balance. Um, yeah, nothing else to say about this one other than, yeah, pretty good. I did try another one, but things were getting a bit uh, tough for my developer and it just didn't quite build as much, but I do sort of like a bit of the softness on this one. It's kind of nice. And my experiments with the two and a half grade filter. I just wanted to keep the island and just remove a lot of this and sort of create a little bit more of an abstract feeling to the image. This one a little bit light. This one I think was coming out more what I had in mind, but the other one was the last picture I tried to develop. So uh, I understand why it didn't quite get where I wanted it to go. But uh, a fun little experiment at the end, totally worth it. Absolutely loved the first session in my new darkroom setup. It was incredibly productive and I've learned a lot and it is invaluable information moving forward. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching and take care.